Hello everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. You guys, I'm so happy to be here. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So we're back, we're back like we never left in Miami Beach. I am so happy to be back in Miami. Like the weather is great, the girls are here, we're having a time. So this time I'm actually staying at a brand new place. I believe this place has only been open for a few months, but I did a quick Google search because I wanted something more authentic, something with some life, you know? Something with some flavor. And I came across Hotel Esme um, in Miami Beach. It is located on Española Way. I actually used to come over here and take tons of photos. In this cute little neighborhood, they have tons of restaurants. It has a very old world vibe and feel. So they actually turned one whole block into a boutique hotel. It is Hotel Esme and it is incredible. It feels like a Mediterranean oasis even though you're right kind of in the center of what used to be a very kind of touristy area. It's so beautiful over here, so quaint, so quiet. Let me give y'all the tea. First, you know what, I'm gonna take y'all back, okay? Because I got in yesterday. Let's do a hotel tour, and then we'll do a room tour, and then I'm gonna have to rewind it back to last night because I didn't go to sleep until about three o'clock this morning, which is why I'm a little raspy. We gonna get there. So Hotel Esme, it's really, really beautiful. It's very, very close to South Beach. It's very close to Collins. It's only one street over. You can walk to the beach in like five minutes. But when you come in, it's very grandiose. You come in, it's beautiful colors. It's really giving me Mediterranean. It's really giving me um, Moroccan vibes as well with the really deep colors and the couches. They have a little seating area with like a leather couch and magazines and a beautiful little like a drum coffee table and they have a stunning fireplace. And like all of this woodwork on the ceilings, like you guys, it is absolutely stunning, okay? Stunning. The grounds, they have a ton of restaurants, they have a ton of bars like built into the hotel, which is really nice. There's this beautiful long walkway. Um, let me tell you, I have to get it out because they have so many restaurants. They have a restaurant on the roof. There is also a rooftop pool. The stuff of Instagram dreams. There's a rooftop pool next to that is like a rooftop lounge. Next to that is the rooftop bar and restaurant. Gorgeous up there, stunning. I would have no idea that there was a pool up there. Absolutely incredible. The colors, the design, they did not skimp on any of like the decor. It's the stuff of dreams like, I cannot wait to take photos. I'm very, very, very excited to shoot some content here. The rooftop is absolutely immaculate. It's stunning. It's a vibe up there. Um, I will probably go up there at some point and have a dinner. So just keep on watching the vlog and you'll get a feel for like the menu and such. So that's the roof. They have two restaurants. The first one is called El Salon. Um, it's really cool in there. Very kind of dimly lit. It's a vibe. I love it. They also have bar Pinso, I think I'm saying it right, Bar Pinso, which is kind of like a grab and go tapas bar. So you go in and there's tons of like little foods all set up. Um, and then they have a happy hour every day from I believe six to eight where you can get half off of any of the drinks they have in the back, wines, beers. It's so lovely in there. And then they have all of these cool little walkways with tables and chairs where you can kind of sit out almost like you're on a, like a Parisian street, like y'all stunning the decor here incredible you will absolutely fall in love with it i know i have even the hallways they have like this beautiful wallpaper everywhere the elevators are padded with this beautiful green leather like vibes okay the vibes let's get into my room tour my room is pink it's really cool when you open the door all you see is pink it's a very pale pink though it's really really nice i feel like all of the rooms are kind of different and they have their own character um there is a beautiful ceiling fan of course they do have a huge armoire and in it it's ample closet space with hangers there's a few drawers there is a um, mini fridge there's also a safe 
and a coffee maker thank goodness because y'all know how i feel about coffee like i have to have a coffee maker the bed enormous and it's also pretty high so if you need more storage space you can store things underneath um the bed is maybe a king size it's huge it's so comfortable i slept here like a baby last night and do you see this design it's beautiful it's giving it's giving looks it's giving otherworldly it's giving you know vintage almost there's of course a tv there's these really cool little hooks <laughs> that i put all of my bags on which is nice there's a mirror there two nightstands they have a really cool like vintage rotary phone <laughs> which i love that and it works like i called it i used it to call down this morning and get an iron and an ironing board i love the decor in here it's it feels like a little parisian home um, there's a TV, of course. There's a sliding door with a mirror on it, a full-length mirror so I can get off my outfits of the day. I have two windows that actually look out onto Española Way, and I love the view. Like, I see palm trees and beautiful lamps, and it's, it's a vibe. Um, the bathroom is not that huge, but it gets the job done. There's a big mirror. There is a walk-in shower with, like, beautiful, like, brass color accessories they do have a lot of products as well that smell incredible um and i just really really like it like and i like that all the rooms are kind of different and then the shades too are like a beautiful burgundy velvet the room is incredible it's very cozy i love the colorful rug um i feel like it's just enough like almost like someone lives here <laughs> that's what it feels like i'm absolutely loving this hotel they also have a restaurant across the street called the drexel that's affiliated with the hotel as well and i ate there last night it was so good you guys i can't even that's pretty much the grounds definitely check it out if you're in miami it's it's pretty affordable as well i'm gonna be here for a few days and i can not wait to just shoot here and check it out and also be very close to a lot of things they have bikes i have access to two umbrellas two chairs two towels at down at the beach which is a block away like i can literally walk to the beach in less than five minutes um but it's a vibe and then to be right in the action of espanola way on drexel and espanola way it's it's a vibe and it's a moment and you would think it would be kind of loud because they do have lots of restaurants and things but it's not it's so quiet um i'm pretty sure they soundproofed the windows but i love it here so as soon as i got in y'all y'all know i threw on my little dress my one from dc Gua, my bottega mules my bottega bag my alexander mcqueen sunglasses and i skedaddled right on out of my room and to to walk around and check it out um i ended up actually going to bar pink so for a few snacks and i've got a ton of different little tapas and some white wine and i just sat down in the, my, the little parisian-esque walkway and i had myself a good time i sat there and i ate and every single piece of tapas was so delicious i can't even tell you all the stuff that i got but everything was good okay everything and i crushed it i was so hungry i know i got some olives um i got something with arugula and pastrami i believe no look i can't tell you what i got but it was delicious every single morsel of it and i i will probably go back at some point and then after that i came back here because i wanted to get ready and head to dinner with my girl ria michelle and my girl achiing which is no ordinary noir on instagram and I'm just gonna go ahead and play that footage from last night because y'all, we had a time. So we're gonna rewind it back to me getting ready before we head out for dinner and then I'll come back. So we have rewinded to the night before and I'm just getting ready. I'm going to head out 
I am meeting with No Ordinary Noir on Instagram and my girl Real Michelle. <laughs> and we're going to dinner at the Drexel, which is kind of over here on Española Way. Fairly newer restaurant. It's Mediterranean, so it should be nice. So I'm just getting myself together. Again, I had to retwist my hair a little bit. The lip is absolute New York and this dress is actually from Rat and Boa it's super short but very cute I don't think they still have this dress in fact Rat and Boa just had like a 30 or 50 percent off sale I think it was 30 percent off and so I don't think they have any stock left but keep an eye out they should have restocks soon I'm wearing a medium but I love all of the colors so I'm just gonna choose a scent really quick I'm um, probably going to go with my favorite little Gianvito Rossi shoes and my Balenciaga bag. And then we're just going to head right across the street, right over there. Don't worry, by the time you watch this video, I would have left this place. So I'm going to take these twists out, put on my entire outfit, show it to you guys. And then we are going to head on over for a fun dinner. Alright guys, sorry about the crazy light, but I think we're gonna do Baccarat Rouge 540. I bought a new bottle tonight. We're, we're exuding rich. Alright, so I'm just gonna untwist these so you guys can see the definition. I didn't put anything in it, but a lot of you gave me some great tips about what to use for anti-humidity, and I did bring some of those things, so... We'll test them out over the next few days and I'll let you know which things worked. All right, we are ready. Let's go. The lighting here is not too bad. Hey babies, it's me, the queen of Chingagu 2, here with the queens, Monroe and Rhea baby, Miami! Cheers, babe! Please you come here? Can I, can I do it? Cheers! Yeah!
bar was really, really nice. Um, basically the music. We went for the music because the music in there was everything. We got our entire lives dancing and drinking in there. And then we had another shot. And then your girl, me, got an espresso martini because it was way past my bedtime. And then after that, we ended up going to another place to get more food. And then finally, we retired here. <laughs> But we had such a good night, like it was so much fun. Definitely check out No Ordinary Noir on uh, Instagram, and I believe it's the same on TikTok. She is so funny, she is so incredible, and she just pours so much love and light into every single person she meets. It's so hard to like be in a bad mood around her. It was nice catching up with my girl Rhea too. That was last night, and now we are up. We are refreshed, we are a little late because it's already 9.45 and I was supposed to meet a friend downstairs for breakfast. So when I walked in, I saw my friend Lainey, Lainey Hadaya. I've been following her forever. She is the fashion girl of New York City. One of the very first like bloggers I ever followed. Um, I used to stalk her fashion week looks. She's here with her family. So she actually came to the table last night and chatted with us. And then she told me she would meet me for uh, breakfast downstairs today so i'm gonna get myself together i'm gonna roll downstairs i'm gonna hopefully still have breakfast hopefully they're still serving it y'all because it's 9 45 i don't know what time they stop serving breakfast but i have to get some food in myself and then i'm actually catching the bright line which is a high speed train that runs between miami fort lauderdale and west palm i'm going to west palm for the first time um, because i have a business meeting with my teresa they have a salon there where you can go in and see all of the new spring trends you guys know i love my teresa it's one of my favorite places to shop for like luxury and designer um and also just up and coming new brands so i have a meeting with them today at three so i'm gonna catch the train down to west palm and then i'm also gonna do some shooting with maria because maria lives there bella rosa blog um, I have to shoot a campaign for uh, New York and Company. My girl Gabrielle Union. I have to do that while I'm down there and then also do this meeting. So it should be a very fun eventful day. You will finally get to see the bright line and how that works if you want to easily travel between the cities around here seamlessly literally the the train ride is less than an hour so and i heard it's very luxurious you can have drinks and things so i'm looking forward to taking the train down i'm gonna get myself together by the way if you're wondering the lip is nars walkery velvet matte lip pencil i have been trying a new product for my dry twist outs at night to give my hair more definition i'll show you guys what i've been using um, of course, I'm wearing my Soma Intimates robe, but I'm actually about to get ready and pack my bag because my train leaves at, I believe, 11.48. Are we going to make it, y'all? I hope so. Looking forward to having a super fun and productive day. All right guys, just kind of got myself together. Popped on this dress from a Petal and Pup. I have this dress in a ton of different colors. I am wearing a size six and it fits great. I have this in black, I have it in pink, I have it in a nude type of color. It's a really great dress. I'll link it down below if it's still available. I'm gonna throw on an earring, my necklaces, and head on down. Hopefully, I can still get some food y'all because I am starving. So here's the look. Beautiful dress. I think I'm gonna carry this butte today. Let's see for the shoe. Uh, we're gonna do my Tibby Mules. So that's gonna be today's look. All right, and then I just put on my Anna Luisa earrings. I'm gonna toss on my Marjorie necklaces. I think I'm gonna put on some perfume here. I think we will do this one. Let's get rid of this. A little Baccarat. All right, let's hope they are still on breakfast. And I'll show you my full look. So here it is. Petal and Pup dress, Tibby Mules, 
We're gonna go with my sparkly Fendi bag today. Today's scent is Maison Francis Baccarat Rouge 540. Oh, I didn't show you guys the product I use on my hair to like help with the humidity with my twist out. A lot of you gave me some great advice. So this is what I used last night, just a pump or two before I two strand twisted my hair and it definitely gave it more shine and definition. Um, I haven't gone outside yet, but we'll see how this holds up um, in comparison to just dry twisting my hair with nothing on it. I will keep you guys updated and I will link this down below.
All right guys, made it to Palm Beach Island. I took the Bright Line. It was an amazing experience. Palm Beach Island is beautiful. Look at the shopping center. Uh, so we're gonna take some pictures of me in this dress and also some looks that I have for uh, New York and company. And then we're gonna head to the My Teresa showroom and uh, see what they have in store for spring. But look how beautiful. So nice. Alrighty.
right y'all so i am back from the longest day ever i am so tired oh my god i think i'm gonna lay down and take a nap but i started off my day by heading down to one of the hotel restaurants and having breakfast it is super super cute in that restaurant really giving me like parisian mediterranean type of vibes for sure i ended up getting an omelet and a coffee and the omelet also came with like hash browns. Everything was really delicious, especially the coffee. So, so good. So then after that, I just came up to my room. Um, I packed up all of the things that I needed to shoot today. Also, I packed up my laptop because I have a ton, and I mean a ton of work hitting my inbox like every couple of, every couple of hours. Brands are really trying to push their spring campaigns their spring merchandise and so this is a very busy time for me so i had to take my laptop and i went down to the bright line the bright line is a train here in miami beach that runs from downtown miami to fort lauderdale and then from fort lauderdale to uh west palm beach and it's super super quick and so affordable i think my ticket was 27 dollars each way um, and that's the premium tickets, $22 for regular. Trust me, pay that extra $5. Because for premium, you are in first class. Everything, once you step inside of the Bright Line, is free. Like there is a premium lounge for those who pay that extra, you know, five, six dollars, where you can sit, you could charge your phones, there are free snacks everything all of the drinks are free you could just hang out there and the one here in downtown miami is stunning there's tons of ports for you to charge your phones little couches for you to sit down there's beautiful views they have cereals they have snacks they have fruit they have every kind of drink you can imagine and all of it is free you can even just take some of it if you want and then we got onto the train and of course when you're in pre premiere you sit at the front of the train in first class and then they come through again with snacks and drinks and literally anything that you're that you want is free and it is totally worth the extra money to just get a premium ticket i caught the bright line it was really cool i really enjoyed my experience all of the people who assisted us ushered us onto the trains or served us everyone was excellent like the customer service in impeccable they also give you this little like cloth to <laughs> to like cleanse your hands with it's a very luxurious experience so i would highly recommend it to get to fort lauderdale literally it was like 20 minutes and then to get to west palm from miami beach was like 40 minutes and it's super super quick and very very comfortable so i was able to get some work done on the way down there which was great and then once i got there my girl maria bella rosa blog she picked me up and then we drove to palm beach island and you guys why didn't y'all tell me about palm beach island i mean she told me about it but why didn't y'all tell me about it it is insane is so beautiful the palm trees the architecture they have this one street i forgot what it's called but the whole street is just lined with designer shops every designer shop you can imagine it is so cute and quaint and i definitely need to get up there and spend an entire day maybe even get a hotel room and spend a weekend there just <laughs> shopping they have a the real real store like we do in um, new york city they have a chanel they have a bottega i mean literally they have everything and everyone out there was like so nice and everyone was complimenting my outfit we kind of walked around we did a little bit of shooting i shot this outfit it's perhaps already on the gram so if it is head on over there and drop your girl three red hearts to let me know you came from this video we shot this dress which is from pedal and pup um, in my new sparkling Fendi bag. I think that's the first time I actually shot that bag in like professional photos. And then we headed to the Colony, which is a super stunning and very old historical hotel on the island there. It's pink, it's beautiful, inside is divine. And I mean divine, like the, the decor, mm, it's an Instagram dream. And we were there for 
the My Teresa and Vogue magazine spring preview. I was invited by My Teresa and it was just lovely. You guys know I love shopping at My Teresa and it's very important to me to build a relationship with them. I have worked with them previously, but never like one-on-one. -on -one. So this was an excellent time to meet face-to-face, -face, meet the team, and hopefully work with them on a few things in the future, the very near future. So very, very happy. Everything in there was, y'all, I, I pretty much have everything they had in there. <laughs> They had the pink Jimmy Choo's with the crystals down the back. I have the same lime green ones. They had a really, really cute skirt. I mean, they just had, they curated it to perfection and it was lovely to see like what's really hot right now. Of course, colors, bright colors, everything vibrant is really, really popular right now and doing well at My Teresa. So if you've never checked out My Teresa, I'll link the store down below and I'll also link a few of my favorite things that they have from their spring preview down in the description box and you can check it out. So that was a lovely experience. And then we ended up having lunch at that same hotel, The Colony. That hotel is just uh, the decor, the, the flower wallpaper. They have a restaurant out back, which is by the pool. And Maria and I went out there and we had lunch. We ended up getting shrimp tacos with fries and some kind of fish dip with crackers. And I got a frosé. Everything was delicious. Seasoned to perfection. Uh, chef's kiss. The service was good. And then we ended up heading out and shooting my two looks for New York and Company, the Gabrielle Union collection, which is very, very colorful and fun. The materials are great. Every, <laughs> I had on one dress and then I changed into another dress and shot that as well. And everyone like who saw me in both looks were just like, wow, this is incredible. Like, who's that by, who's that by? So if you're a colorful girl like I am and you're looking for some affordable, amazing pieces, definitely check out the Gabrielle Union Spring Collection over at New York and Company. Both pieces I'm wearing are a size small and I'm usually a US size six or medium. Definitely check those two dresses out. I've linked them down below if they are available. And there are some really, really cute pieces from the Gabrielle Union collection, y'all. So stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you some more. That post should also be up as well. So go on and throw me some hearts over there too. Two, two red hearts will do. And so after we finished shooting, it was so hot. She drove me back to the Bright Line and I ended up working again the whole 40 minute ride back to Miami. I mean, my inbox is on another level right now and I really have to stay on top of it just because I have so much other stuff going on. I don't want to miss anything. I ended up working and then just got back here to the room. I feel disgusting. I feel like I need to take a shower which is probably what I'm going to do. Um, I just walked by the bar downstairs. They usually have happy hour from 6 to 8 and they have a live like a person on a guitar down there too which is really cool. So I think I'm going to shower head down there maybe get a few things to nosh on i'm not very hungry and maybe a drink what time is it okay it's seven so i still have a good hour um for happy hour um and then i think i'm just gonna relax for a bit and i have i think i'm meeting up with some friends tonight for karaoke so that is the day i am going to lay it down y'all because your girl is tired i am beat okay but if you are enjoying the video thus far please do give me a thumbs up i would love to get 4,000 likes on this video it helps me out a lot to help push my videos out to more people and hopefully help me get more subscribers because i am trying to get 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year and so that will help me out a lot all right guys i will check back in soon oh oh i am beat oh my goodness you guys i am so tired. Ooh, I'm gonna take a little 15 minute nap and I'll check back in with you guys soon. Snuggle up with me. Welcome to day three 
of the Miami vlog. I'm just getting myself together. This morning I ended up going down to the beach. I haven't been since I've been back. You guys know I love to start the day just grabbing myself a coffee or an acai bowl from Joe the Juice and then heading down to the beach when it's nice and quiet and it's I just have it all to myself. And just sitting on the beach and reflecting and thinking, listening to the waves, watching the birds. So I spent a good amount of time down there. And then I actually hopped over to Henna International Nail and Spa to finally get my nails done. Like the last time I was here, I didn't even get a chance to get my nails done. So of course I went with my favorite nail color, which is Coconuts over OPI. I love this color. Um, you can find it at your local CVS, especially if you are in a warm weather climate. They have it here at CVS. I found it today. Coconuts over OPI. It's a beautiful kind of nudie color. And then on my toes, I got my regular Zoya Purity in white. If you watch my girl Tashira of Politics and Fashion, you know it's white toenail season all year round, 365. So I put this dress back on. This dress is from Stodd. I wore it in a previous Miami vlog when I bought it from Ball Harbor Shops at Saks. And I shot this previously, but I didn't really like wear it. <laughs> and so I'm going to an event today at a uh, Brickle City Center. It's an outdoor, really cool mall over in the Brickle area. It's connected to East Miami Hotel. So if you need a good hotel recommendation and you wanna do some shopping and eating, I would recommend staying at East because it is connected to basically a wonderful shopping mall. But Rebag is opening a location at Brickle City Center, which is wonderful. You guys know I love Rebag. It's a great place to buy secondhand pre-loved luxury handbags and you can also sell them there as well i bought a few bags from them and then they kind of send you an alert after maybe like two or three months like hey how are you enjoying this bag do you want to sell it back to us like i love that so you can experience luxury and also save money by you know trying out a luxury bag that you might want and then just selling it back to them it's a really really great way to experience the luxury and also cut down on waste because you're buying pre-loved. They're opening up a location in, in Brickle City Center and they invited me to come and check it out and also they're gonna loan me a bag which is wonderful. So we'll go, we'll, we'll choose a bag and we'll also get something to eat because I am starving. Later on today I have a party at Ball Harbor Shops. They have a new installation, I think like a floral installation. I mean, we're checking that out. They're having a cocktail party. My girl Rhea's going to be there. My girl Lisa, Lisa D NYC is going to be there. I'm sure a lot of friends will be there. So that will be absolutely fun. Um, I have a really great dress I want to wear tonight. And then we're going to end out the vlog and literally start another one because my girl Jen is in town. Jen Jean Pierre on Instagram and it is her birthday. So we're celebrating tomorrow. I also need to pick her up a gift while we're out today at Brickle City Center but you guys I got a little something in from my Teresa it's so funny that I went and I checked out their collaboration with Vogue magazine a uh, spring preview yesterday in Palm Beach took the bright line down I did not end up going out last night y'all after I laid down with y'all I fell asleep okay I was supposed to meet my friends for karaoke and go to sexy fish and I did none of that I literally laid down and went to sleep and my period decided it wanted to come on so that didn't make it any better. Anywho, I actually ordered this before I was invited to the My Teresa event and so this is very timely. We're gonna do an unboxing, we're gonna do it right now. I love My Teresa's packaging by the way, it's so good. They always include a little thank you note which is cool. It says thank you, this package has been lovingly wrapped by i think it says mag i think that's really cool that they let you know who wrapped your purchase and then they also always give you a little folder this folder says elegance is the balance between proportion emotion and surprise by valentino garavani so in here is just like my receipts and stuff and i love that they do it like that they also send you return labels and then they make it super easy for you to return things so i picked up two pieces from my teresa this first one, you guys. Sorry again that the light is so finicky here, but we move. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. So if you watched one of my previous videos about what to buy this month, this was on the list. 
he's home. This is the denim Obi Loewe belt. You guys, it's the quality for me. It's stunning. It has these two buttons here. I believe this is the back, but of course this belt is reversible. You can wear it backwards or forwards. I went with the size medium and my Teresa was the only place that already had this in stock. I tried to pre-order it from Saks and it said it wouldn't get to me until April. Today is March 4th, I believe. So look, she's a goodie. I'm gonna try her on and show you guys how she looks. All right guys, so here she is. I did get the medium. The medium fits really well. It's supposed to sit high on the smallest part of your waist and it does definitely go with your normal size. I got this in a medium. I am a US size six. I wear a 28 in jeans and the medium fits great. Oh, it looks so good. You can also make it a little bit tighter with the buttons in the back. But uh, can you imagine this with like a one colored midi dress? Oh, so good. Or like a really long white t-shirt button down dress. Oh my goodness, it is everything. So I'm wearing it back to front right now. I will, can I turn it for y'all? There we go. This is considered the front and it is really giving. So I'll link this down below if you guys are interested. Remember it is denim, so it is a little pliable. And the medium is quite tight on me, like I can breathe, but I definitely could not have gotten a small. The large would have been way too big. So keep in mind that this one does have buttons. It doesn't have like a little string um, like the other one. So you can kind of tailor it. This one, you really have to go with your normal size. So I am in love with it. And I will link it down below anywhere that I can find it online, but they definitely have it at my Teresa and you order it, it'll come in like two days. I love this fan, by the way. Next up, I got a little something from Jacques Mousse. Ah, oh, let me show you guys what I got. You guys know Jacques Mousse, one of my favorite brands. And I ended up getting this beauty. Ah, oh, it's so good. So this is the Jacques Mousse bag it's in one of the newer colors they just released it's kind of like that Bottega green and this will match perfectly with my Celine sneakers but I'm absolutely in love with it I think it's so cute I've been looking for a bag this color with a nice shape I don't have anything in my collection that has this shape absolutely love it top handle that's not removable I mean it does have clips on either side for a shoulder strap and then it does have this little sh pocket here in the back i think that's great for just storing a credit card or a key card or even just popping your phone in there so that it's close to your body when you're wearing it crossbody it does have gold hardware you guys know i'm a gold gal and then it has magnetic closure which is nice there is a considerable amount of space on the inside it has a nice pocket there for cards and you can see the inside is kind of like a canvas and really really nice this here is the shoulder strap and it is that in the same green leather oh i'm gonna love wearing this crossbody and it's adjustable as well with the two clips here let me clip it on and show you my teresa was like one of the first places that i saw that came with this color and now i feel like i need more <laughs> the quality is really amazing by the way like amazing and this bag is under a thousand dollars for it to be a designer bag one of the hottest designers out right now and then you can wear it crossbody like so i just think this will be great to rock with my Celine sneakers that have the Bottega green on them. Such a cute bag. I purchased this with my own money, by the way. This is not a gift from my Teresa or anything. Just happened to be that they did invite me. This comes in a ton of colors. It comes in white. I believe it comes in blue, yellow, orange, like tons of fun colors that would be great for spring and summer. So I'll be sure to link this down below. This also comes in different sizes. This one is not the miniature one, but it's the next one up. 
but I love the bigger ones as well. I think the bigger ones would be so cute. It's just a great everyday bag that I can wear. I do love a good top handle and great for crossbody when I just want to relax, but it's not too big that if I wear a crossbody, it's going to like bang against my body and look crazy. So lovely. And that's pretty much it. That's everything I got from my Teresa. I need to put on some lotion. We're going to go with Bald Freak. Um, someone told me I'm saying that wrong. I'm sorry, you guys. Like, I, I do the best that I can. But I'm probably not going to stop saying Bald Freak because I just like saying it like that. So, thank you. I have the cream, the body cream from them. It's really nice. It holds its smell all day. I believe, like, longer than the actual perfume. So, if you want to try it out and you want to spend less money, definitely check out the body cream. And I'm going to mix it with my Baccarat Rouge 540. And that will be the scent for the day. So I am running extremely late. Like I was supposed to be there <laughs> by now. But I had to get these nails done. Because I have so many events and things to go to. And I also, I also need to eat. <laughs> because all I had today was a coffee and an acai bowl. And a mimosa at the nail salon. Oh, this smells incredible. And look, it works. Y'all see how shiny my skin is? Oh, it's so good and moisturizing. Okay. I will check back in. Once I'm done getting myself together, I'll pick a shoe, I'll pick a bag. We'll spray on a fragrance. We'll call an alto. And we'll head to Brickle City Center to check out the new rebag store. Alright guys, I'm back lit, so I hope you can see me, but here's my look. I am wearing this stod dress. I'm wearing a medium. Again, I'm a US size 6, um, 28 in jeans. The medium fits great. It does have a little bit of stretch, but I would suggest going with your normal size. I will link it down below. I love all the colors in it. The shoes are my white Bottega Mules. I'm doing a lot of walking today, so I want to be comfortable. Plus. We all need a white pair of, of shoes, and I've worn these into the ground. They are amazing. The sunglasses are Alexander McQueen. I'll link them down below as well. And today's bag, we're going to go with my Bottega bag to kind of match the shoes. I have gone ahead and called my Alto. Remember, I have a code. It is MONROE20, all capital letters, for $20 off of your first two rides. You see, they came in and made the bed recently. But that's the look for today. Today's scent, Baccarat Rouge 540. Today's body cream is the Baudet Freak by Barreto. Hopefully my ride will be here soon and we can head out and check out Rebag.
Hey y'all, so I am back with a ton of stuff. Rebag let me borrow a bag, so I'm gonna show you which bag they loaned to me. I also had a ton of packages sent to my girl Rhea. So I have the dress that I wanna wear tonight for the Ball Harbor Fleur um, event. It's here. I hope it fits. And I'm starving, so I'm literally gonna run downstairs to the bar, grab some snacks, come back up here, and do a quick unboxing for you guys, and then get myself ready and head to Ball Harbor Shops for the event. All right, y'all, I got an assortment of snacks from Bar Pink So here at Esme Hotel, some pepperoni, something with goat cheese and walnuts, arugula, and I don't even know. I don't even know what half this stuff is, but it tastes good. And I also got these beautiful flowers made from the rebag event. I wish I had some water. I'll just put them in the sink for now. All right, you guys, so the rebag event was super cute. They have a new store in Brickell City Center. It's really, really nice. They have a really great selection of things. And they also let all of the influencers borrow a bag, which is really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys the bag that I got. So it comes in this nice dust bag and I ended up going for this beauty from Fendi. It is a pink leather peekaboo from Fendi and I've been thinking about the shape of this bag for a while so it's great that I can just borrow this one for like a week or so and see if like it really fits my lifestyle and if I like it. I love the gold hardware, the top handle. It also comes with a crossbody strap, a lot of space on the inside as well. This is very like chic. This is giving, I don't know, like Kelly vibes to me, but we'll test it out. I'll maybe shoot it, see how I like it. And if uh, I should maybe invest in one for myself. So currently on a rebag, this bag is retailing for $2,690. And again, remember, if you buy a bag from them, you can always sell it back in a couple of months and get that money right back. So that's really cool and very, very cute. So that's what I got. It's just a loan, so I'll probably do a little shooting with it soon. After I left there, I headed to Saks kind of checked out some of their clothes, see what was new. Then I headed down to their perfume department to pick up a gift for my good friend, Jen, since it's her birthday. I actually literally just picked her up a bottle of Baccarat Rouge 540 for her birthday, so hopefully she likes that. She's having a get together tomorrow, like a pool party. That'll be in the next vlog, but this is what I'm gifting her. Luckily they had some in stock and the guy made sure to tell me that these bags are straight in from Paris, so there's that. All right, I am going to quickly eat. It is six o'clock. The cocktail party starts at seven and it's about 30 minutes away. I'm gonna be late for sure, but um, I'll show you the rest of this other stuff later. I'm just gonna eat, get dressed for the party, show you my look, and then we'll head out. Oh, so busy. All right, y'all, so here's tonight's look. We are doing this Fee Noel dress. I've been wanting this slip dress forever, loving the colors. We're gonna do my Bottega uh, mules, the Lido mules, and my brand new stunning Fendi First bag in gold. Hey y'all, so I'm gonna talk to you guys looking in the mirror. Sorry if you can hear the fan. This is one of these lights that when you turn on the lights, it turns on the fan. I hate that. Like hotels need to get with it and stop doing that. <laughs> the tripod is linked down below. The camera is linked down below as well because every time I kind of include it, you guys go wild asking about it. It is the Canon Mark II G7X. 
So I'm just refreshing my makeup. I put on my NARS Mysterious Red Velvet Matte Lip Pencil to contour and just give me a little bronzy glow. I am using Minted Cosmetics Yacht Life Bronzer. This is a black owned business, by the way. Um, my makeup actually held up really good. I normally never use a finishing spray, but today I did. I actually went to CVS early this morning pick up a few things. I picked up this e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Mist up to 16 hours and let me tell you guys it's the truth. I am not even very oily at all. My makeup looks perfect. Why didn't you guys tell me? I've been wa watching a few makeup videos which is why I'm like getting more into makeup. This lipstick is great. Gives me the perfect pop of color. I just wanna add a little bit more blush and then I'm gonna call my alto. So the dress I'm wearing is from Fina Will. There is no lining in this dress. It shows every bump and every lump. The earrings are super old from Carolina Herrera. I wore them during, during New York Fashion Week and you guys were asking me so many questions about it, but Unfortunately, these are old and uh, sold out. The dress I'm wearing, I have it in a size medium. It fits perfectly. The small would have definitely been too small. Like I just looked at it in store um, when I was just in Saks and it's entirely too small. So the medium works great and you can also adjust the straps, which is wonderful. I'm really happy with how well my makeup kind of held up during the day with this finishing spray and so now I am a believer in finishing spray. How about that? How about that? Let me give myself a little extra glow here. I wish this dress had like some pink in it so I can wear my new Fendi peekaboo. That's okay. We'll get some good shots of it tomorrow by the way this bag just has all my uh, blushes I mean brushes <laughs> brushes in it okay I feel like I look cute let's spray just a little bit more I love that noise by the way now it feels like I'm doing something let me cover up my dress And I just spray it until my face feels kind of dewy and we are good to go. I will link that spray down below in case any of you are interested. I will link the dress, I will link the lip. The necklace is my jewelry. I'm going to spray on a little perfume, throw this in my bag and we are good to go. It should be fun. I'm gonna call it, call an alto now, call Rhea, see if she's ready and swing by and pick them up and then we will head to the festivities. I feel beautiful. Mm, yes. Okay, let's go guys. So I'm not sure you can see me that well. The light in here is not the best, but here is the look. My Lido Mules, true to size, my brand new Fendi First. I have to make sure I'm carrying it the right way. It is stunning. So if you watch my previous Miami vlog, you've already seen this bag and my other Fendi as well, but I love this look. It's kind of, it says I'm here for a cocktail party. <laughs> Ready for this cocktail shindig. We're ready to see some flowers. Yes. You know I love my flowers. Yes. Flowers. yes. It's, it's like really a bad. yeah, it's a cocktail party for they always do these cool little uh, installations. Y'all yeah. know I love me some and flowers And so now. <laughs> they make clothes out of <laughs> flowers. Oh, this gonna be nice. Yeah, okay. so this is the cocktail like opening night and then it'll be open until or 
it'll be on display until the 14th, I believe. Okay. Okay.
everyone and I don't even know what day of the vlog this is but I just got up got myself together this morning I actually put on this cute little like onesie that I got from Skims and I went and got a coffee at Starbucks um, did a little walk and then I actually came back here and did an hour-long workout with my girl life with glory B and now I'm just getting myself together to start this day but that will be in another vlog I just wanted to come on and recap yesterday because I had such a wonderful time I went to an event with rebag which was great I ended up getting a beautiful bag from them to borrow for a few like weeks stay tuned there would definitely be some content featuring that beautiful pink fendi uh peekaboo soon and then after that i came back here got myself ready to go to ball harbor shops they have an amazing exhibit going on currently it is called fleur de via and it's basically where they make these incredible gowns and clothing out of beautiful flowers um, and this is going to go on for about 10 days. Um, I think it, it'll be over on March 14th. So if you happen to be in the area, definitely check it out if you can. But I think this vlog is going to come out once it's over. They do this every, every few months and it's always a good time. They had a lovely party. And again, all of the like mannequins are based on women because it's Women's Month. Women who are killing it. I think they have an Oprah one and an Audrey Hepburn one. So many cool ones. I'm actually going to be going there in the next vlog and showing you all of them. So make sure you watch that. I saw all of my people last night. <laughs> um, I met up with my girl Rhea and Elle and we went together. We had such a great time there. I saw my girl Lisa, Lisa D in YC. I love her. Her and her husband were there. Um, she wore this beautiful black dress and I believe these clear Amina Muwadi pumps she looked incredible she always comes with the styles definitely check her out at lisa d nyc um she kind of moved here maybe a month or two before i moved to miami so a lot of new york is down here y'all we take it over even though i'm sure no one wants us to and i also saw my girl elizabeth and also my girl stephanie they were in a previous miami vlog um, we had a beautiful dinner at Faina and that in that Faina Miami vlog but it was good seeing them again as well and we just had fun making content checking out all of the mannequins and the Fleur de Via exhibit it was wonderful and then afterwards Elle and Rhea and I we caught an alto and we went to Blue Ribbon it's actually inside of I believe Plymouth Hotel but it was delicious I've actually never been to Blue Ribbon restaurant before and we got a ton of different like sushi rolls we had a dumpling I forgot what kind of dumpling it was but it was so good the sauce on the dumpling was incredible we got two different kinds of rice like everything was delicious we got there kind of late and we didn't have a reservation so we ended up sitting at the sushi bar which was fine with me but everything everything was so good so yeah if you're looking for amazing sushi and i mean amazing and you don't want to worry too much about a reservation like let's say going to komodo or someplace else um definitely check out blue ribbon i give it a five stars for sure and then their dj was killing it too she was playing all the jams um so i appreciate her and then i just came on home so that is a recap of yesterday i have to get ready because i have a lot going on today today but that will be in a new vlog um so make sure to tune into the next one but if you enjoyed this one make sure to give your girl a thumbs up i would love to get at least four thousand likes on today's vlog make sure to subscribe i would love to have you join the fam and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video thank you guys for spending the last few days in miami beach with me and stay tuned for the next one bye guys oh don't forget everything's linked down below i'll be looking out for y'all <laughs>